New at four, a Long Island man is being hailed a hero after he raced to rescue his teenage neighbor from his burning home that you see in the video. The teen was trapped on the second floor. News Force Paisy Chang was there today as they met again. Paisy, I know you're joining us live from Sayville. That's right, Natalie. Help thy neighbor, they say. Well, it's a lot easier said than done, but not for this one man who ran towards danger and even risked his own safety to rescue a teenager who was trapped inside this house. How you doing? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You saved my life. Hey. An emotional meeting as A.J. Spitzfaden thanked the man who rescued him. From a fire that had engulfed his Sayville home, AJ was in his room on the second floor. The smoke was already knee high. I knew I couldn't make it. AJ, who is a volunteer firefighter, knew there was only one way out, his window. Mom? Yes. Hi. <laughs> no, it's... Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. At the same time, Richard Mosbach, who lives a few houses away, saw the smoke and ran towards it. The smoke was just overwhelming, so I started yelling to see if anyone was inside. And then uh, I came out because the smoke was so overwhelming, I couldn't uh, go any further. But then I just had stuck my head out my window. I saw I saw my neighbor. He was running. He said, you got to get out. You got to get out. Mosbach ran back to his house to grab this eight-foot ladder and ran back to the burning home. There, he helped AJ escape through the window. The smoke was then even more so. It was black. It wasn't the white smoke because the fire was really coming through. And uh, we got there in the nick of time. I'm glad you helped me. If you didn't, I'd either, I guess, have broken legs or dead. So. Richard even tried to find their dog Half Pint, but couldn't make it through the smoke and flames. Before yesterday's fire, Richard had never met the family before. Today, the family says they will forever be grateful to Richard for his quick thinking and selfless actions. I'm really just happy I could uh, I could help out. That uh, that's thanks enough that he's here, and uh, I'm glad I was able to see him and uh, that he's okay. Now, the cause of the fire is under investigation. There's also a GoFundMe that has been established to help this family who has already lost so much. We're live in Sayville tonight. Paisy Chang, News 4 New York.